everybody, my name is Spamos, and welcome to Would You Rather, the game about asking the hard-hitting questions that make you try to decide who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Would you rather drive a bright red smart car or be spanked by Rosie O'Donnell every morning? What sort of question is this? Do I live with Rosie O'Donnell or does she kind of swing by every morning like, Hi, I'm here for the spanking! Or do I have the red smart car to keep away from Rosie? If I stop driving, oh, is it like that horror film? It follows, but instead of it following, it's Rosie O'Donnell coming to give me some of them spanks. I'll take the spanking. Yeah, well, wow. <laughs> That's the results. Would you rather? Would you rather eat Nutella? Very tasty chocolatey spread with a nutty taste. Nom 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 nom. Or eat bacon. I'll take the bacon. That's a no brainer. Give me the bacon. I can live. Wow. That's a lot of people that would rather have Nutella than not bacon. I just want to say here and now that the people who chose the chocolate Nutella, they are wrong. They should not be allowed to exist because bacon is everything. I have some hula hoops. If you were on the start. Starship Enterprise, would you rather work under Captain Kirk or work under Captain Picard? I'm not much of a Star Trek guy, but I have been watching Picard over on Amazon Prime. I'm enjoying it. It's very, very good. And Sir Patrick Stewart is something of a living legend. Whereas Captain Kirk, pwah! was it William Shatner or was Captain Kirk? I don't even know. That's how little I care about you, Kirk. Taking Picard. How about, was I wrong to say Picard? What do they know that I don't know? <laughs> A lot of people prefer Captain Kirk. What do you think? Let me know down below. I want to know. Would you rather? Would you rather be a vegetarian and love a meat eater or be a meat eater and love a vegetarian? I'm very happy eating meat. I don't want to be a vegetarian. I love my beef burgers way too much. My meat feast pizzas. No pineapples. Thank you very much. So no, I'd be happy being a meat eater, and I would have no problem dating someone who was a vegetarian, because they don't like meat doesn't mean anything on me, so long as they don't drag me under the bus when they get hungry and they try to steal from my plate. Get off my plate! I'll take the vegetarian, please. With a side of beef. Well, there's the results. I'm pretty sure it kind of represents who's a vegetarian and who's not. A hula hoop suitable for vegetarians. If you could only attend one of the two, would you rather go to the Super Bowl? Or the World Cup Final. Could I go to neither? I'm, I'm not a sports guy. I care little for Super Bowl or World Cup. I think it's so stupid. Can I go watch Picard on Amazon Prime? I'm going to say World Cup because I'm British and Super Bowl is stupid. Take that, America. Yeah! Take that, America! Take that, America! Make no noise! I apologize. Would you rather be locked in a New York City studio apartment with four? 100 pugs for a year or be forced to round up all of the pugs in the United States and put them on a boat bound for North Korea. Why does North Korea want so many pugs? Is this how their new missile system works? Is it controlled by little pugs wearing little goggles and they pilot it in? So here's the dilemma. Being locked in a studio apartment for a year with 400 pugs, it's going to be a smelly affair by the end of that year. That room is going to stink and the poo is going to mound up. You'll probably be sleeping on it at some point and the enzymes are in the feces, they're gonna start burning in the skin, it's gonna be horrible, no amount of showers are gonna make that smell go away, but here is the kicker, rounding up every single pub in the United States is gonna take a lot longer than a year, coupled with the fact that you're sending it on a boat to North Korea, just picture that moment, you're on the quayside, the boat is now departing, and all of the pubs have jumped up into a little window, and they're like, but human, what did I do, I loved you human, you used me, and we're like, go to North Korea, you pug, whereupon they get turned into long range missiles, and sent back. Amazing. I didn't want to pick either of these. They're both dumb. Karen, bring out the boat. All right, let's do this. Wow, there's a there's a result. Yay. What did you pick? Because both of them are stupid. I am now eating the hula hoops. Would you rather be a famous athlete in the Olympics known across the world or be a famous actor known only in America? I'm sure there's many an actor that's only known within the United States, just like there's many an actor only really known here in Britain. Do I want to be an athlete? someone who's really fit and can run and is is healthy or could i be an american <laughs> <laughs sorry i didn't mean to make that a joke 
<laughs> I've broken myself. <laughs> Breathe, breathe, I'm a hula hoop, breathe. So I could be an athlete or healthy and stuff, or I could be an actor. Like they're two entirely different professions that have no kind of comparison, to be honest. I would rather be an actor than an, an Olympian because acting is way more fun. And you know what? So what? It's only known in America. Have you seen how big America is? It's huge. I'll take being an actor, thanks. How about I wasn't expecting that sort of split. What does it matter if you're known worldwide? Jack Daniels, would you rather get $1 million a year in quarters or get $100,000 a year, but in bills. So here's the conundrum. Obviously, a million dollars in quarters is four million quarters a year. That's a lot of quarters to be dealing with. Whereas a hundred grand a year in bills, way more manageable. Bask in my glory for a second as I have the solution. Because I know the big brains amongst us know what the correct answer is. But the stupid sausages out there, they're going to pick the 100 grand in bills. Because they're going to be like, it's too many quarters. What can I do? Be too heavy to count. My pockets aren't big enough. Stupid dum-dums. We're going to take the one million a year in quarters. And what we're going to do is, number one, we're going to buy an office. And that's going to be the postal address of the quarters okay that's that taken care of number two i'm gonna be generous i'm gonna carve out a hundred grand from that one million so i still get 900 grand a year i'm gonna pay someone a hundred grand a year to deal with it for me <laughs> they're gonna work at that office they can take it to the bank and cash it all in don't care if it takes them all year to do it just busting back and forwards carrying quarters that way i get more money and i'm employing someone so that i'm giving back to society how about i'm not gonna lie i was expecting more people to take the money the, the bills but whatever, I'm happy to see Big Brain is spreading across the internet. Clever sausages all around, apparently. Where did Jack go? Would you rather lose your preferred hand or lose your preferred foot? If I found myself in a situation where I would be forced to pick between a hand or a foot and there's no other way about it, it's getting lopped off, never coming back, I would probably lop off the foot. I love my hands. I can do quite a lot with them, whereas my feet... They are only good for walking or maybe kicking small children. I could definitely get a, a replacement foot that does a good enough job, whereas your hands, they got way more tactile nature to them. I can fondle and caress and why am I doing this? So I'm gonna lose the foot, keep the hands, and then I can keep my job. 69%! Yeah, yeah, that's a sexy number of percentage of people wanted to lose their foot. There is no risk of injury. Would you rather hug a panda or hug a polar bear? What a delightful question. I once touched an alpaca. It was the softest thing in the entire world. Then I not have an alpaca instead of either of these. I think I want to go panda. Little pandas are adorable. Little bears, I guess they're cute too. Follow your instincts. If you're ever none sure, then go with your first instincts, and that was panda. Yeah, 71% like pandas. Oh, life hasn't been the same since the hula hoops. Would you rather face a zombie attack or face a shark attack? If I'm in an ocean and a shark has decided it's going to attack me, I think the odds are in the shark's favor. It's gonna win. I'm a really slow swimmer because I'm so big and splashy, and it's a predator. It's a natural born killer of the ocean like world so shark is probably gonna end in death zombie attack that's a singular zombie not a horde of them so one singular zombie Con -con 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 canonically i believe is the word i was looking for zombies are actually kind of slow and not super fast like you see in all those day z films and stuff so i feel confident i could walk away from a zombie and escape it but also beyond that i could dig a hole and easily trap it in the hole the zombie has been taken care of i put some tarp over it pray no one falls into it but anyway I think I could survive a zombie attack. The shark would definitely eat my face. How about I think me and the internet are actually for once agreeing with something here. Although 28% of people are dumb dumbs. A stupid idiot. Five Shut up, buddy. No one likes you, buddy. Would you rather suck a hobo's toe for two minutes or be in a cage with a honey badger? 
dandelion for 20 seconds. So can I clean the hobo's toe first? Two minutes is a long time in terms of toe sucking totality, but a cage for 20 seconds, that's not so bad. I could take the honey badger, armed with it, I could throw it like a small pug into North Korea, which is the lion's territory of the cage, and then the the lion may spend 20 seconds devouring the honey badger. Or the honey badger could kick the lion's ass. But anyway, I'll just step back, let those two bite it out to the death, and then I'll slip out. I'm gonna take the honey badger. There's a line of people ready to suck some hobo's toes, but no. Me, I'm gonna be in and out in 20 seconds, getting a takeaway, and then thinking about my life choices. That's a sex of 69 once again for a honey badger and a lion in a cage. 300,000 people would rather be sucking down on a hobo toe. Hobo toe sounds like a brand name. I have discovered a lava packet of hula hoops! Would you rather? Skittles. M&Ms. I got a story for you, 100% real true fact from my childhood. So I used to get a bag of Skittles, put it in the pocket on your butt, that back pocket that no one ever uses. Why are they even there? Anyway, I would always call them back pocket Skittles. You put them there because you forget they exist. And then I found in your time of need, when you really, really wanted some Skittles, like, without thinking about it, your hand would just unconsciously would go grab out your pocket and it'd be like, oh, I got Skittles! How about pretty 50-50? But the Skittles take the lead. Back pocket Skittles. Who the hoops are gone again? Would you rather watch Lost or watch The Office? One thing to make clear here, when they say The Office, they mean the UK office and not the American office. America's always taken great British comedy. American and American are doing it well. I've never watched Lost. Never have. I think I may have seen like a bit of episode one because there's a plane crash and I think someone got sucked into a jet engine. I can't remember. And then I remember people like trying to freak out people who are watching it saying there's two islands and there's something about a, a vault or a bunker. I don't know, never watched Lost. I probably just ruined it for everybody. Don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go with the office, the British office. How about but there are the results. Did Lost even have an ending? I don't know. But Ricky Gervais, The Office. Would you rather have every song you ever listened to turn into Nyan Cat or have every movie you ever watched turn into Badgers, Badgers, Badgers? There's no denying that the answer to this will change the world as we know it forever. So the real question is, would you rather never have music again or never have movies again? In my day-to-day -day life, I don't really listen to music all that much besides editing for videos. I love movies. I love movies an awful lot. I like to watch them more often and I, I'm a movie person. So I would not like to see movies gone. Because as, as, as amazing as Badgers, Badgers, Badgers is, I like movies. Music is terrible nowadays anyway, so let it become Nyan Cat. It's amazing. Get out of my life. Let's watch Lost on DVD. How about that's pretty evenly split? Although the majority were the clever sausages there. They clearly prefer the movies and they've sacrificed music for movies. But can a movie have a soundtrack still? Or is the music in the movie Nyan? Oh, what have I done? Well, that's going to be an episode right about there. This has been Would You Rather. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Did you agree with me? I would love to know. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you want to support the channel, pick up a t-shirt. City17online.co.uk forward slash spammers. It's amazing. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, boosh, there it is. It would be amazing if you did because then you'd know all about every single upload and live stream and all of that jazz. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!